Welcome to the back roads of the Davis Mountains. I'm your host Ray Wiley and we're here at the Davis Mountains State Park fixing to go out for a ride on a beautiful little loop that's going to take you past some sites that you really can't see anywhere else in the country. We're going to do a little stargazing. We're going to visit an old fort that was restored and built in the 1800s. Other than that, we're just going to climb on some back roads and go see what kind of adventures we can find here on Biking Back Roads. We're here at the uh, National Historic Site of Fort Davis. This is one of the coolest forts I've ever been to. They have a continual restoration process going on here so that pretty much every time you ever come here, you're going to see something new and different. This fort was built in 18, 1854. It's uh, been used for everything from uh, fighting Indians to, to uh, protecting the stagecoach trails. Lady Bird Johnson rededicated the fort in 1966 when they started undertaking the restoration process. Uh, you can come out here and wander through the officers quarters, through the uh, commanding officers quarters and see they lived a pretty good lifestyle out here without having running water and gas stoves. This, their quarters out here is pretty nice. Right behind us is the hospital where they would uh, keep everybody in tip top shape as well as they could for those days. This area was used in uh, the 1850s for an experiment with camels, no less, to see how well they would survive in the desert environment. The uh, experiment was a total success, but it did get interrupted by the Civil War, and then it, they just never went back to it uh, after the war was over. I'm wondering whatever happened to all the camels they brought out here. They also, uh, one of the interesting things about this fort was that along with a lot of the other Texas forts, it was built by the Buffalo Soldiers, which of course uh, were the black regiments that were known to have fought all along the Texas frontier and been instrumental in taming the Texas West. So we have to put out a, a debt of gratitude to their efforts here. You can see by the grounds that uh, this was a very large fort. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been renovated yet, but for what they have gotten done here, this is a pretty exciting place to come and see a big part of not only Texas history, but U.S. history too, when you get to delving into everybody that's been here. And, you know, there was a this was used as a medical station for a Sibley's Revolt, where he went in and tried to take over New Mexico. The uh, Confederates were here for a while, but uh, once the Union forces pushed into Texas via El Paso from California, the Confederates uh, lit out and gave it up. Other than that, this is a great stop on the uh, on the trail around the Davis Mountains area. I'd recommend for everybody to drop in over here and, and take the tour and learn a little bit about this part of the country. Well, I want to thank you all for joining us here on this episode of Biking Back Roads out here in the Davis Mountains area. It's been my privilege and honor to be your host and tour guide. I've had a great time riding around the hills with you. I hope I've inspired some of you to Get on your bikes and go find yourselves an adventure. Maybe even come on down here to the Davis Mountains. Y'all keep the rubber side down and the wind in your face. I'll see you on the back roads. <laughs>